Hey guys, welcome back to Channel Cough with the Moms. Lisa's here today, and today I have four easy Dollar Tree DIYs for your patio. These came out so cute and very easy to make and very cheap to make as well. So guys, let's get crafting. Okay, so the first DIY I'm going to show you is how to make a very inexpensive tray. Trays are so expensive, especially like at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, that type of thing. And I made this for $4, guys. All you need is four of these really long, like, signs from Dollar Tree. Um, you can use as many as you want. I decided to use four of them. I glued them all together with wood glue and, and three six thousand together and then as you guys can see here I am kind of staining it with my Waverly wax paint and just giving it a very good coat and then wiping it off now I did have this dry for 24 hours I will tell you this one little tip is sand it before you put the wax on or the stain on um, so it can dry faster so after when it was dried I actually took some of my Dollar Tree stencils and I just started stenciling um, stenciling is so much fun I absolutely love it and it's very therapeutic as well um, stenciling and patterns are very in right now so just taking your time doing an up and dab motion um, this is the Waverly chalk blue paint and it actually turned out really really cute and making sure it's a light coat I mean you can go back in with a second coat if you want but I actually did a light coat on this and then after that, when it was all set and dried, I wanted to make some like little balls. Um, these are just wooden balls that actually I'm going to glue on the bottom of this tray so it's not so flat. Um, I wanted to give it a little bit of height. So I, you can get these little wooden balls at um, Hobby Lobby. They're like $3.99. Um, sometimes they're on sale, but all I need was four of them and I glued them to each corner. And then after when that was done, I took this nautical rope from Dollar Tree, tied two knots on each side of that rope, and I didn't even measure it. I just like kind of eyeballed it a little bit. And then taking some of my hot glue, all I did was I put some hot glue on the end of each of them and just kind of hold it there for a second or so making sure that one was completely dried and then just gluing the other one very simple really cute guys this looks very high end um i actually made this for my mother for her porch and by pairing it off with some flowers and a candle and look at that so cute and it definitely looks like pottery barn Okay, so the second DIY are coasters. So you definitely need coasters for your patio. So I actually picked some of these coasters up at Hobby Lobby. I actually got them for 50% off. It was 40 or 50% off, so they were like around two bucks. Um, you can take the wooden planks from Dollar Tree and use those as coasters because I've done those before. And just taking that wax Waverly paint and giving it a good coat and wiping it off and I decided to do some more stenciling. So taking that same stencil, I love these stencils. Now this one is adhesive stencil that I'm showing you from Dollar Tree and look how cute these turned out. Okay, so the next DIY is these wooden planks. So we're gonna make a planter. By making a really easy planter for $1, guys, you're gonna take four of these planks. These planks came from Dollar Tree and you can get about eight to 10 of them in one pack. Um, these are great. So what I'm doing is I didn't even sand them. All I did was do the Waverly wax paint, wipe them off, and I'm going to do more of the stenciling. Now my mother is a matchy-matchy type of girl, so she likes everything that matches. So I am going to redo this stencil and just taking my time and going up and down motion and then just doing a lighter coat. Now I did try to do a second coat and it was okay. I just like it how it's not so perfect. So I did that and I did them with all four planks. And then all I did was I kind of touched it up a little bit. And then after that, 
I decided to glue these all together. Now, gluing them all together, you definitely have to be very patient because sometimes it doesn't work in your favor. But I'm going to tell you, you need reinforcements like popsicle sticks. So as you can see here, I am definitely taking that hot glue, holding it down with the other plank, kind of making it like an L shape, and then taking that popsicle stick, hot gluing that, and actually giving it support. Now you can actually do some wood glue. That might be work better, but I'm always a fast type of girl. Um, and then just gluing the third one and holding it there for a second or two. And then just remember, put some popsicle sticks. And I would do this for all four sides. Because you definitely don't want this to be ruined or collapse. So just taking those top popsicle sticks is better for that. If you guys don't have popsicle sticks, grab something else. Use dowels, use something else. Straws, something. No one's going to see it. You're going to fill it anyway. Okay, so I decided to do a bottom. You don't have to do a bottom, but I decided to do a bottom. So I took these really big popsicle sticks from Dollar Tree and I cut them on each side. And like you would definitely have to like measure it and cut them on each of the sides, like I said. And then all I'm doing is hot gluing that all the way down, one by one. It doesn't have to be perfect, guys. Um, some of my popsicle sticks are like a little bowed, but that's fine. No one's gonna see them. I just need it more of a support because where this is going, my mother has a corner shelf and it has holes in it. And whatever I'm putting in here, um, I definitely don't want it to go through. So after I hot glued all these popsicle sticks, I am going to stain them with the same Waverly Wax paint. Um, I love this stuff. It's probably one of my favorites from that Waverly line. And then um, after that, I decided to do the edging. So make sure you do the edging of that because you're definitely going to see that natural wood popping through. And you might need like a second coat, but it's totally up to you. And I wiped it down. And that's about it, guys. And what I paired it off with was some florals. I chose this greenery that I got at Walmart for 97 cents, guys. And I put two of them in there. And look at that. Super cute. Okay, the last DIY is this little frame that I got at Dollar Tree. And I thought it kind of looked like, a, I don't know, from a church or something like that. So I decided to kind of give it a little makeover. Now I just want to let you guys know you can use these for outside because they're plastic. And that, that's a nice thing about this kind of stuff. Um, so all I did was kind of give it one coat of that Waverly uh, chalk paint blue. And then pulled off that little sign. Actually I wanted it but then I didn't and look how cute that is. Just to give it a little background. And if you guys like these quick tutorials, give me that thumbs up. And if you didn't subscribe, you can always subscribe. And we'll see you in our next one. Bye, guys. Take care.